stuck choosing between ideas? Miro's voting tool makes decision-making a breeze, perfect for team brainstorming or workshops. This is how it works. To get started, click on Facilitation Tools and Reactions, and then Voting in the Collaboration Toolbar at the top right of your board. This opens the voting panel. Set the voting area for the objects you want participants to vote on, like sticky notes or text boxes. Decide how many votes each participant gets. You can also set a time limit for the session, anywhere from minutes to days. Once everything's ready, click Start to begin. Participants will see a pop-up letting them know it's time to vote. Votes are anonymous, and participants can adjust their votes anytime during the session. They can even signal when they're done by clicking, I'm done. As the facilitator, you can monitor progress, add extra time, or end the session early. Simple, right? If you want to keep it even simpler, you can go to the left toolbar, click plus, and look for doubt voting. This way, people can vote just by dragging the dots. When the session ends, everyone can see the top results, and you can keep them visible on the board for reference. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up and share it with your team. For more Miro tips and tricks, hit subscribe and tell us in the comments. How will you use the voting tool? We'd love to hear.